Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. We're walking into 5713 Catalpa, number one. This is a terrific one bedroom, and we walk sort of right into the uh, living room. If we look across, we can, straight across is the bedroom. We see the shoes, to the left of the shoes is the bath. We have an eat-in kitchen to our far left, and to our right, we have the living room. Living room gets tremendous natural light. I think the windows are facing north, but for there's nothing really in front of them. There's nothing blocking the sunlight, so you do get a lot of light. I'm going to walk into the apartment a little bit. Again, you focus on the shoes. I'll give you a quick look at the kitchen, which is really a big, very nice kitchen uh, with this breakfast bar right there that I'm showing you. But as we look past the breakfast bar, we get a nice shot of the living room. Again, we have three windows. There's a ceiling fan. It's probably about 13 feet from where I'm standing to the, uh, to the windows and maybe 10 or 11 feet across. Beautiful hardwood floors. You can see there's quite a bit of furniture. If I walk to the window, you're looking onto Catalpa. It's super easy street parking. It's a, it's a nice quiet street, no traffic. Um, actually, you can see that the windows are newer. They're replacement windows. So not only do they block the weather, but they block the noise. And if we look back, we see the front door and that's the one wall. There's outlets on every wall, so that's really nice. And we come down the other side. And again, we take one last look at the hardwood floors. And then we see a ceiling fan, not only in the living room, but in the kitchen. So let's go right over to the kitchen. The kitchen's been remodeled. And here's the breakfast bar, which is really nice. And actually, by the front door, you've got some hooks, which are good for coats. And there's the door we came in. So, as we go into the remodeled kitchen, we have windows facing sort of southwest. Um, there's plenty of room for a table. They have a smaller table here. You could have a bigger table than that. It's laminated hardwood floors, which is very nice. Big stainless steel fridge, lots of cabinets, granite countertops, stainless steel sink with a hose attachment to the fixture, lots of cabinets up on top stainless steel stove and microwave and more cabinets and a dishwasher below so it's a much bigger than average kitchen which is really nice give you a shot at the countertop and then we're right here so we'll look i'll show you the drawers now obviously this apartment's occupied so i don't want to go through everything but i do want to show you that the cabinets below are quite a bit deeper so you can put pots and pans uh, appliances they're storing some food stuff. The dishwasher is full size, very clean, very workable. You have a nice tile backsplash, which is really nice. Uh, lots of outlets. So you've got outlets on that corner by the pot holders and uh, outlets right here, which is great. Above the cabinets are sort of like, it's not really a maple finish, but they're like the standard maple cabinets. It's two foot uh, in length, about 10 inches deep. It's got a couple of shorter cabinets over the sink, which is really nice, and even shorter cabinets than that, and a couple of narrow cabinets on either side of the microwave. Again, we have the rock countertop, stainless steel sink, which is really nice, nice and deep. You can see it's all the way on hot right now. And the water pressure is very good. The hose attachment, the spray option. Everything is draining really well. And it's nice and dry underneath so you can use it for storage. So that's really good. So we've got lots of cabinets up on top. Full size stove, fifth burner in the middle. Uh, now this, this obviously is going to be clean, but you can see it's really a nice appliance. You've got small drawers and like a 
cookie sheets is what I'm trying to think of, a, a cabinet for cookie sheets. And you have that on either side of the stove. And you can see again, the tile backsplash is really nice. Stove is full size. Microwave also really nice. Super clean and we'll be clean some more. And we'll just look back. We're at the far wall now. And you can see how much room there'd be for a table. The ceiling fan, canned lights, very, very nice kitchen. The back door will lead you to storage and laundry. I'll just open that up because there is a little backyard. So there's Jeff out there. Um, more counter space next to the back door. Whoops, Daisy. More counter space here. Another set of outlets behind the uh, whatever that green thing is. The drawer and cabinets, which are the deep cabinets. And then a really nice refrigerator. This is probably about five feet, eight inches high with the freezer on top. Shelves to the right and underneath. We have a nice fridge, shelves, crisper drawers, butter dish, more shelves. But you can just tell by the whole look of the fridge that it's a nice new, very pretty appliance. Let's see if I can get you a better shot. There's the floor and there it goes on up. So I'm gonna start walking towards the table. It's a nice bright, Give a quick look at the living room again and swing around past the breakfast bar. And there is the kitchen. Cabinets up top, microwave, full-size stove, granite countertop, stainless steel sink, hose attachment, more counter and cabinet space. Oh, I didn't show the cabinets up there, but they're identical and a full-size fridge. Really a nice kitchen. And as I back out of the kitchen, We'll go back to the shoes real quick, and to the right of the shoes is a super big bedroom. So that's, I think, a full-size bed, but you could easily, easily have a king-size bed. You have a uh, west and uh, north and west facing windows and a ceiling fan. If I go in towards maybe the in north facing window, and swing around, you get another idea of how big this bedroom is. You could have a king-size bed and an office area in this bedroom. It's really great. And there are two closets. So there's one bedroom closet here. I'm going to turn on the light before we go in. So one bedroom closet here, shelf, hanging bar. It's about three feet or a little bit more wide. And not quite three feet deep, but it's a nice big closet. And if we turn around, again, we'll look at the bed. My camera works a little sloppy, sorry about that. And we'll turn on the light again for the closet. And we have a second closet here that is about the same size. And it's a little harder. She's got some suitcase there that I don't want to move, but it's about two and a half feet deep and maybe three feet across. So that's really nice closet space in the bedroom. Again, we have beautiful hardwood floors throughout this whole apartment. Let's see if I can make sense of this. Camera work was a little sloppy there. There we go. And there's the second closet there. And just a lot of space for, like I say, an office, or more bedroom furniture. Okay, we'll focus on the shoes one more time and head into the bathroom. Now they've lived here for a while. So when I pull back the curtain to the shower, it's gonna be dirty, but that will be cleaned. Uh, it doesn't really look like it needs to be repaired, but it does need to be cleaned. You see the outlet, the tank toilet, the really nice uh, sink with the cabinet underneath, laminated hardwood floors, Every room has a radiator. There's a medicine cabinet. And there we have the medicine cabinet. We have both canned lighting. Oops, Daisy. And another light over the light fixture over the uh, um, mirror, which is nice. They also cut vents into the ceiling. 
that is super helpful to keep the bathroom dry, which helps keep it clean. Now we pull back the curtain and we see we have beautiful tiles here and a nice shower fixture. You know, a couple of different heads, a couple of different hand wands, so it's really a nice shower setup. But they've been here for a while, so we do need to do some work on the tile by the window. We also need to clean and grout the tub and around the tub. Let's check the water pressure real quick. So there we have pure hot. And I don't know which one it's coming out of. There we go. It's coming out of two. So it's split two ways. But you can see we have very good water pressure. There you see it's two angles. Wow, what a mess. It looks like we have to tighten up one of them too, which we will do. Water drains out beautifully. And I really apologize that it's not cleaner, but like I said, I mean, they have the right to live here and they have lived here really well for quite a while. So I'm gonna back out of the bathroom and let you see it one more time. And again, we have the laminated hardwood floors. So that's really it. We come out of the bathroom. We look into the living room. To our left, we see this really big bedroom. And to our right, we see a really big, really nicely rehabbed kitchen. We have a small, we have room for a table and a small backyard. And a couple of ceiling fans. So that brings us back to the front door. Thank you for watching.